What is going on guys? My name is Dylan, the Pro Bartlett, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Light Platinum. This is episode 2. I've done this recording three times, and for some reason OBS keeps messing up. So hopefully, third time's a charm, right? Well, no, this is my fourth time doing it, so... Anyway, um, last episode, we couldn't figure out how to heal our Pokemon in the first town, Yellow Town. Uh, there isn't a place to heal, so I just let my Bubble Sword die, and, you know, it heals on its own. You know, you black out and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so I literally, uh, I advanced a little bit off, off screen, and all we did was, uh, there was one other trainer we had to fight, and then we obtained uh, TM46, which is Thief. So, let's go ahead and look at our Pokemon. We only have our Bulbasaur, who's fixing to evolve. Uh, Flower Power. <laughs> Flower Power. That's what I should have called him. Flower Power. Level 14. Uh, he knows Overgrow, so it's really good. He's going to up his grass moves. There's his stats. He's holding Moomoo Milk for right now, but we'll be getting Amulet Coin here soon. He knows Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. Boys, right quick. I don't think anybody gives you anything except for... There's a guy up here we need to talk to, and he gives you something really good. Um, this guy right here. You can tell just by looking at some, some trainers that they have the capacity to train certain Pokemon really well. I'm willing to give you a great Pokemon. Do you want Growlithe? Yeah, I want Growlithe. Probart received Growlithe. Growlithe is a, is a Pokemon that is a rare and difficult to encounter. Only a few people ever get one. You're lucky. Right there's a Safari Zone. Or, yeah, the Safari Zone. Um, this guy gives you something, I believe. Yeah, it's Focus Punch. So, we've obtained Focus Punch. I think that's all he gives you. Um, yeah, that's all he gives you. So we could go into the Safari Zone. Um, maybe. I don't know if I really want to go into the Safari Zone because there's not really any like crazy cool Pokemon I want. So we're going to hold off on the Safari Zone. We may come back to it, we may not. Um, this guy gives you absolutely nothing. There's a trainer up here though, so I'm gonna switch to my Growlithe weapon to Krogunk. I could roar, but uh, I'm better off just switching to uh, Flower Powell. So I'm gonna fast forward it. That way I don't waste a lot of a lot of time. Oh no! Oh no! I should've went to the Pokemon Center! Oh god! Okay, so, <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward it. I'll see you guys in a minute. That Krogunk was annoying. She come to Feedbash are in Shijin. They appear by the thousands at this time of year. Although they are brave, they rarely attack people and rarely appear at other times. Kenta. Very interesting, Professor. Thanks for the tip. I think I'll try to catch one.
Wow, amazing, Professor. I've fallen in love with these Pokemon. I'll catch one right now. Go, Pokeball! Wow, I captured a Feebass. It looks like a good Pokemon. What? This Feebass is attacking me! Professor, I'll save you! Having to come in and play hero like always. No, not really. Professor Oak's a legend. I'm a legend. Yeah, y'all know what I'm referring to. Jersey Drake, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, this Feebass, it doesn't know anything. All it knows is Splash, so. So I'm fine with Growlithe uh, beating up on it. Thank you. Hey, it's Pro Bartlett. Professor Jasmine asked me to tell you that she is doing important research on the creation of the universe and needs your help. She wants to show you her results. She's in her lab in Yellowtown. Thank you, Pro Bartlett. I'll head over there right now. Oh, and this is my nephew Kenta. Nice to meet you, Pro Bartlett. You look like a skilled Pokemon trainer, and I hope I'll face you myself someday. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, I'll, I'll say the same for you. Well, I'll be on my way now. Thanks, Pro Bartlett. Goodbye. Dude, he ain't ready for me, dog. He ain't ready for me. I'm about to be a, the best Pokemon trainer ever. So over here, I believe, is a Waterstone. Yep, it's a Waterstone. Alright. So now we gotta go back to Yellowtown. Touch the Professor. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Ooh. And I already know what kind of Pokemon are in, in these in this grass, and that's just uh, well, I don't actually remember, but there weren't anything good except for Tyrogue. And the first time I tried to record this, I played with Tyrogue, and he was awful. I got him to like level eight or nine, and all he know all he knew was tackle. Like he didn't learn to move. I could have taught him Focus Punch, but I felt like he would have learned Focus Punch at some point, and he never did. And I just I'm, I don't want a Tyrogue. Even though uh, having a Hitmonchan would be really freaking cool. Shoot, having a Hitmonlee would be really cool. But, that's not me. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Yellowtown, talk to the professors. And uh, it's really a tedious task, because then you have to come back to Central to, uh, to, talk, to the talk to Professor Oak. But, um,. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward it right quick, and I'll see you guys momentarily. Yellow Town. I have to go talk to these lovely professors, see what they've got to say. Jasmine. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor Jasmine. Pro Bartlett told me I had to come here quickly, so I'm here to learn about your research. Yes, Professor. With Pro Bartlett's help, I've been studying ancient writings about the creation of the universe. They said that Arceus created the world and all the Pokemon. Incredible! This is actually related to my latest research in, into Pokemon DNA. It seems all species have the same small trait in common. Yes, Professor. Right. Now that's all I know. I'll send you the full document on a CD. Okay, Professor Jasmine. I'm going to my research center in Zahari, Central City's radio tower. Let me know immediately if you have any problems. Okay. And then basically, Jasmine's going to register you into the Pokemon League, so you can fight the gems. Wait. I'm not going to read this. I've read this so many times throughout the recordings, but basically he just says he's going to give you and Kenta the National Pokedex. Um, so that's what happens. So we get the National Pokedex, and, you know, everybody's like, alright, cool, you know, we're gonna have a great battle one day, yada yada yada. But now you can talk to Professor Oak again, and he's gonna give you a Johto starter. So, it tells you you're a strong trainer, and I'm gonna get Totodile because we already have a Fire Pokemon, Growlithe, and we already have a grass Pokemon. I'm gonna get Totodile. Um, personally, I think Totodile's the better of the three. Um, 
I mean, I like all three. I've played with all three. I've beaten Gold and Silver with all three of these Pokemon before. Like, like the original Gold and Silver. I had a lot of free time when I was a little kid. Pokemon, we've got Totodile. Oh, look at Totodile. There's Torrent, so it ups his water moves just a pinch. Um, there's the stats. Not too bad. What's his nature? His eyes relaxed. Okay. Yes. On different routes, you can find different types of Pokemon. Okay. Fair enough. I think this is a. Is this a bug guy? Sweet. All you need to win are a Pokemon. Oh, I don't even know what he said to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what he said. See, like, they're like hit. Like, the trans Pokemon are like a late. Good thing we have Growlithe. Oh, that's that's awesome that they would give you a Growlithe in the beginning of the game. I mean, either way, I could have got some Nicolil, but doesn't really matter. Damn, that's a lot of experience. Holy cow! That's awesome. I'm gonna keep him in. Gonna get much for Caterpies. But see, like, they already got level 10 Pokemon. Like, at first I thought I was over level with my Bulbasaur, but now. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> over leveled at all. I'm freaking under leveled, if anything. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to. S well, I won't go back to Central right yet. I'll do it uh, later. <laughs> well, no, let's go ahead and go back to Central because I need to um, heal my Pokemon. So I'm gonna fast forward. I'll see you guys in a bit. I hate bug Pokemon, they're disgusting on this route. Look! There seems to be a Pokemon drowning in the water! Whoa, it's a Pichu! That's drowning, I'll save it! I don't know why they would put this cutscene in here, like, like why? <laughs> it makes no sense. Well! Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Um, I was a little worried, but it looks like Pichu wants to reward you with a battle. Okay. That's gooch. So I'm actually going to catch this Pichu, because, um, you know, I think they're trying to make you become, like, Ash Ketchum and give you all these Pokemon that, like, are Ashes. But the reason I'm going to, well, if I don't kill it. Okay. The reason I'm going to, uh, get this Pichu is because we have a Thunderstone in our... Uh, bag, and I think it'd be really cool if we had a Raichu. Uh, yes, I will name him... I'm gonna call it Big Papa. Because it's not big, so that makes it funny. Maybe. Ah, oh. big Papa. I'm glad it's over with. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Damien. I'm a trainer from the Center Region. I'm in the Zahari League as a rookie, but I'm not one really. See, let's fight. This guy tricked me into battling him. 
this guy, like, he's, he's pretty hard. Like, see, look, he has freaking level 11 Pokemon. Like, come on. That's not fair at all. First of all, I know what you guys are thinking. I've got some incredible Pokemon skills. Ugh, excuse me. But, um, isn't Damon? Or Diamond? Or Damon? Diamond? Oh, uh, I guess that's just, yeah. I guess that's just the main guy from Diamond and Pearl. But it seemed like that was Ash's rival. Yeah, Ash's rival in Diamond and Pearl. Because didn't he have an Elect Kid and a Charmander too? Or no, it was the Chimchar, wasn't it? Uh, my congratulations on your victory. You really impressed me with your fighting strength. You have a great future ahead of you. I hope to meet you again in the Zahara region and ask for you, or ask for another battle. But for now, goodbye, and I'm off to challenge the first Zahari League Gym in Inhor City, which is where we're going. We're on our way to Inhor City. Um, <laughs> Inhor. Ah, get it? Uh, Inhor. Ah. Yeah, me neither. Um, I don't know if she wants to battle it or not. No, she just hates bug Pokemon too. There's a trainer down there. You can't pick any of these berries. Um, Alright guys, so I guess we're going to stop right here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to train a little bit. And I'm going to go heal my Pokemon up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you could, give this video a like. It'll help the channel grow. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to keep watching more Pokemon videos. I'm going to be doing other videos soon too. Um, I just haven't decided what other games I want to play and upload. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. My Twitter is in the description below if you want to follow me there. Keep up with my YouTube uh, channel. Let you guys know whenever I upload videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.